everyone loves Disney's Frozen, right? Wrong. It might be ruining Coco. So, usually with every Pixar movie, right. there's a short that plays ahead of it. And it's typically a Pixar short, though this time it's not Pixar and it's not short. <laughs> it's a 22 minute program of Frozen. Uh, it's Frozen colon Olaf's something adventure. Olaf's oh, frozen, frozen adventure. adventure. Perfect. It was the most <laughs> obvious thing and yep. I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> it was, and it's uh, originally intended for television in a half hour special uh, since moved to 22 minutes with commercials. And instead of airing on ABC or any other affiliated network, it's been airing in front of Coco and it's been making kids sad. It's <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Um, I think it, I don't think it's just kids, but I think the fact that it is making kids sad. Like there was one quote in there about how someone's eight-year-old asked why. Said like nobody asked for this, and the fact that children are looking this. at this Olaf short and going, "I don't want this," is a very big indicator that maybe Disney you should have done something else with this <laughs> not so short short. Some theaters have actually reported that people have come back asking for refunds, thinking that they were put in the wrong movie because this short is so long. Yeah. Um, it has four songs in it. It <laughs> that, that repeat it's not multiple the times throughout it. Short ever. <laughs> It's not the longest uh, Disney short ever, but it's up there. Yeah. Usually they're about 10 minutes long. Um, some people even said, uh, why are you doing this? Don't you have faith in Coco to be able to carry this? Yeah. Uh, do you not have faith and in Mexican culture stories? It's super what are you interesting doing? to me because, and I mean, obviously, like we live in this very sort of diverse bubble being in Los Angeles, but I don't particularly remember Disney pushing the fact that this Frozen short was accompanying Coco. Like, I, I feel like I've had Coco advertised at me as this wonderful family film about the Day of the Dead and Mexican mm -hmm. culture. I don't recall anything about Olaf being involved. And so then you get into the theater and you're just inundated with 21 minutes of Olaf. And <laughs> it's just very confusing yeah, to me. It's I don't know why they did this because they should have put a Pixar short with it. Right. And they should have aired this on television. Right. Uh, in the UK, this will not be accompanying Coco. It already accompanied a re-release of Frozen a short time ago. So maybe that was the way to do it. Yeah. I I love Frozen, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I would like it in this No, I, I also enjoy Frozen, but I feel like when you are doing a Pixar film, number one, yes, Pixar should be involved in the accompanying featurette. And also, if you're going to call it a short, it should be short. Like, we need to set some sort of standard on what qualifies as a I short. I mean, the Oscars have standards for right. animated shorts. Right. I think it should maybe stick with that or even go shorter because uh, we're not really competing for an Oscar at this point. Right. And also, I think, you, you know, because you're putting Frozen, which is already this big mega franchise of Disney, with Coco, you're missing out on an opportunity to showcase something else mm -hmm. that isn't maybe necessarily oh, like going- like its own thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've seen a few other ones. I really liked Sandpiper. Mm -hmm. I liked the one about an Indian child and his father, and the father wanted to meditate, and he wanted to think about superheroes, so we imagined <laughs> religious iconography as superheroes. Yeah. I liked that. Exactly, and I think that that's something that you're missing out on by having something that is already so- well established is is the chance to showcase work that is more like, as you say, that superhero versus religion short. <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's just more like let's look at a new idea. Yes, you know, and I love Frozen, but maybe this wasn't the right time and place for it, and maybe it wasn't the best Frozen thing created in general. Yeah. I also, like it's the holidays. Come on, Freeform has their twenty five days of Christmas. We couldn't. Just no, shove they, this in here they somewhere. They have to air Harry Potter 18 times a day. Great. And they won't have time for it with the 22 <laughs> minute short. Audience, did you see the Coco short, or the short that accompanied Coco, Olaf's Frozen Adventure? There we go, I finally got it right. Um, and did you think it meshed or it didn't really belong there? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.